Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card Fight Vanguard Special Fight Pack Volume 5 promo pack opening. Got eight of the new of uh, the special fight packs in today. This is the fifth one in the series. It means a whole new set of promo cards that we haven't seen before yet in the English uh, format. I'm very interested in seeing which ones we have. I saw the names on the back. Don't really know what much about what any of them do uh, effect-wise, but with these, these are the new uh, promos that we'll be using for the September uh, shop tournaments along with the new monthly promo which is demolition dragon looks really really nice with the congratulations on it for all the narukami fans out there for sure but i don't really think there's any order as well for the fact i've also shuffled all these up i think you're just guaranteed at least one of every promo so let's go ahead open them up and we'll take a look at all the new promos we have for the shop tournaments those of you that aren't familiar, you'll get these promos as a entry, I believe, with each one. So let's see what our first one is. It is Stealth Dragon Anton Brand. It's a rear guard effect, grade one. Once per turn for Nubatama, you can rest this unit. Your opponent chooses one of his or her units in the same column as this unit, returns it to his or her hand. If he or she returned a rear guard, stand this unit, and it gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. So just a way to take care of some of your opponent's uh, rear guards as well with the Nubatama. All the new effects, I believe, definitely does come in handy to return them to your opponent's hand, because I believe you can also then discard them. So very interesting promo for sure to work with the cards. If I do remember correctly, I believe we got uh, promos for all of the you know clans in the new sets aside from Gold Paladin. So our next one is for Royal Paladin. We have Cloud Lancer Gamoris with this one on rear one place. Put up to one grade two card from your drop zone on the top or bottom of your deck. If you put a card, this unit gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. They always seem to kind of overwhelm the Royal Paladin uh, promos when we get them. Since you have to put something back just for a plus 10 power for this grade one. Looks very, very cool. I almost thought it was a Shadow Paladin with how the knight looks on this card, but still looks very, very sweet art wise on to the third promo pack like i said i wonder if i did shuffle them up i wonder if we'll get any of the shadow paladin or pale moon ones next uh nope looks like we got the murakumo one grade one uh stealth dragon wriggle biter in rear if you have a unit with the same card name as your vanguard on rear this unit gets plus four thousand this seems like a very generic grade one but that also seems to be the trend that the promos get when we ever receive them very, very awesome art, though. Gotta say for sure. I almost thought that was a cantaloupe it was holding in its hand, but it's actually, I think, like a uh, energy sphere, something like that. Very, very interesting. Let's see what the fourth promo pack. I also kind of miss when they gave us the foil. Uh, you know, like the one card could be foil from the promos. It's been a while since we've seen those. But for our next one, the Narukami promo, Barbari Billy, I believe. Grade zero on rear, soul blast one, and bind this unit. Choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and bind it. So for a grade zero, kind of has a heavy cost just to bind one of your opponent's, you know, uh, front row units. A 6K grade zero can't be the starter. Obviously, I mean, it could, just doesn't have any effects when you ride on it. But like I said, that seems to be the trend that a lot of these promos go for, for sure. All right, we got four left. I believe we still need an Oracle Think Tank, a Pale Moon, Shadow Paladin, and a Dark Irregulars promo. So let's see how we finish this off. All right, so for our next one, we have Metallic Winged Curse Princess, Rodia. On Vanguard or Rear, this unit gets plus 1,000 for each card in your soul. Now, I thought it would be a pretty good one. I honestly almost thought it was Angel Feather as well with how the art looked. If you looked here, I would definitely mistake it for an Angel Feather unit. But with this one, it's a grade 2, you know, 5k power as well. But not bad as long as you have your, you know, soul built up early game. If you have to ride this unit, it definitely seems like a big gamble depending on where your soul is standing currently. Love the art, though, on this one, definitely. Like I said, aside from being almost mistaken for an Angel Feather unit, I really do like how the card looks otherwise. All right, we got three remaining. Let's see. If I remember also correctly, if I read on the back, it's a Battle Sister for the... Yep, Oracle Tank Tank, Battle Sister Sermia. For our next one, we have Softest Perform Marianella. Now, I've noticed none of these promos in this pack are 
you know, grade threes with any imaginary gifts also. They're all grade ones and twos so far, which is kind of underwhelming, but I still do love looking at the promos. We have Softest Perform, Marianella, like I said before. On rear guard, once per turn, soul bless one and perform one of the following. It, this unit gets plus 3,000 until end of turn or until end of turn. The next time this unit boosts, stand this unit. That's not bad for the restand power as long as you can call out something else to assist with the boost for sure. With this card being an 8k grade one, also definitely does help with that as well. Performing one of the following, just that boost power definitely can come helpful for sure. Just being able to restand for another attack. All right, we're down to the final two. Shadow Paladin and Oracle Think Tank. Misaki and Ren's cards remaining. We have the Shadow Paladin card, which I honestly could have mistaken for an Oracle Think Tank card. Kind of reminds me of Godhawk in a way. We have Fallen Dive Eagle. When it intercepts during the battle, your opponent's rear guard attacked. One of your units cannot be hit until end of battle. So just more of a protection card, I'd say, with this one when it intercepts. And when only the rear guard attack, though. So it can stop rear guard attacks. Really doesn't do much against the vanguard attack. Really do love the color scheme, though, that this one was going for. And that means the last promo pack has to be the Oracle Think Tank promo. Battle Sister. Let's see what she looks like. All right, Battle Sister Semia. When this one, Vanguard or Rear, when your Vanguard attack hits, one of your units gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. So it kind of reminds me of the Murakumo one we got from this one, just being a power unit. Uh, great art as well with this one. But other than that, that is it for all the promos with our Volume 5 promo pack. I hope you all enjoyed all Grade 1s and 2s. Actually, 1 Grade 0. So no Grade 3s with this lineup. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this look at the promos for this uh, you know month's shop tournament. We get these every couple months, and then we get a new uh, promo pack. So until then, definitely look forward to the new uh, Volume 6. We'll see what they give us with those sets. Maybe something from the new set to help with the Genesis cards as well. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.